so I've got it outside. Um, since the uh, buildup came from the flow of this direction, all I'm going to do is turn this thing upside down and push some water through it and see how much I can get out. Okay, so this is after the cleaning, and you can see the uh, most all of that buildup is gone now. I just went uh, from the other direction with um, cold water and just hosed it all out. And then up here on the uh, the fire bed, um, you can see most all of the gunk of the buildup is out. I used a vacuum first and uh, pulled as much of it away as I could, and then I just used a fine brush and dusted the rest to the side and then vacuumed up off the side. Uh, Bosch says to be very careful about not damaging uh, this pad. Um, and it's very fragile and you know if it gets torn or whatnot then the piece is ruined and needs to be replaced. So uh, we'll go ahead and put it back together and see how it works. Okay. Okay, so um, I put the heating unit back in and then secured the hood down. Uh, using the two cam levers, I put all the uh, sensors, mounted them back on, and uh, and reattached the uh, the spark and sensor uh, system. I put the I secured the send and receive lines using the clips, and did the rest of the clips down here, and then uh, reattached. Uh, this input cover and put the secondary blower motor uh, remounted it and then reattached it with its three lines and um, I think that's it so I turned the water back on to the unit and waited for a while and didn't see any leaks so I ran cold water on the uh, on the faucet over here and it still looks good so now I'm going to um, plug it back into power uh, turn the gas back on to the unit and then um, turn the power switch on the unit itself and go and try and get some hot water to run. So let's see how this goes. Okay, power's on, gas is on, and um, we'll turn the unit on. Okay, and it still has the EA error code from last time, so let me re reset it and see if it goes away. Okay, and it's reading 116 degrees, which is where I typically have it set. So let's turn on some hot water and see if that flame lights up. came right up and it stayed up. That's awesome. Before, if it was going to fail, it would try three times and then stop trying and throw up the AE, the Alpha Epsilon error code. So I'm going to go turn off the hot water and I think that we're good for now. Actually, I'm going to leave it run for a minute until the water gets hot that's coming out of the faucet. And uh, I'm still keeping an eye out for any leaks, any water leaks in the system, and of course the smell of uh, natural gas. But it's so far so good. Okay, so. Uh, that's exciting because the water got hot a lot faster than it used to. And I assume that's because this thing can breathe a lot better now. Uh, the heat can come out of the fire bed better and then it can get into the, the fins quicker because all of the buildup has been lost. And that's about uh, seven years worth of buildup. So awesome, so looking good. So I'm gonna finish putting it back together. I have to mount this thing back up here and then put the the ceiling cover over this part and then the uh, the um, the main cover over the entire unit.